have on. I love Billy's big reveal at the Brotherhood um, compound, I guess you would say. I just, I love a villain. It looked like you were so having so much fun in the role. What was it like to like just dive into this role and just play into this awesome villain? Oh my gosh, it was incredible. Um, that was a really long scene. It was actually my first day on set. <laughs> So I like, I have, it has a special place in my heart. Um, No, it's been incredible. I I feel extremely lucky to be a part of the franchise and to kind of, you know, be able to create a new character, you know, with the help of us understanding um, that she's the daughter of a very iconic character, Albert Wesker. Um, It's been also extremely fun to be able to have, you know, two storylines and see her kind of shift in personality and demeanor in the future. Um, Yeah, it's been incredible. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, speaking of daughters of iconic characters in the franchise, Paola, your character is also the daughter of another another character. So I was wondering how much research you did into the lore and the franchise, you know, were you only familiar with the movies or did you dive into the games a little bit? Yeah, I was familiar with the games and with two of the movies. But I did uh, I gather all the information of uh, of of. Evelyn's father so I can uh, so I could understand and it was easier to understand where she's coming from and why the need the urgent need to be seen and respected and and I feel that that's where I found her pain right that's where I found her fears and her pain and that's how I created her and it was really um important for me uh for Evelyn to have humanity and to have and and so people can connect with that and not just to be like a a villain that is like almost like um not human i i wanted her to feel human and vulnerable even though that's the the scariest thing for her is to be vulnerable but we 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 can see the cracks and i love that and i love that about her Definitely. And then Adeline, I feel like with Billy's arc, we don't get a lot of information about that. You know, I think there's still a lot of mystery surrounding her character and how she got where she is. Did you, were you informed of the arc or did you kind of have to fill in the blanks or do you know what's going to be going on if hopefully the show gets a season two? Yeah. Um, I think with, in terms of what I knew, I got all eight episodes of what was happening. So I kind of had an idea. Um, or not had an idea. I knew exactly what was going to happen. Um, it was kind of fun to dive from like young Billy to then adult Billy. Bridging the gap in those 14 years, I was also kind of lucky because in the dialogue, they do kind of insinuate some of the things that kind of happened between her and Jade. And I think ultimately the parts that we do see from adult Billy um, are very kind of focused on the sister relationship that she has with Jade and how that has changed, but also, you know, her perspective on how to change the world and how that very, you know, drastically differs from how Jade wants to change the world. Um, I'm very excited to see where this all goes, you know, what Billy's, you know, intentions are moving forward, but it's been very exciting being able to kind of just show that little switch and also, you know, play around with Billy's emotion as an adult towards Jade. You know, I I feel like we get to see a couple of different nuances coming from her um, in their conversations. Definitely. And speaking of moving forward, Paolo, you know, I feel like we get a pretty irredeemable moment from Evelyn at the end of season one, and then we get to, you know, see her in the future as well. Do you think there's any redemption for Evelyn or do you think she's kind of gone down the river of villainy at this point? I hope, like, honestly, I just hope we see another side of her. This has to change her, right? She gets to see the horrific consequences of her actions. She provoked all of this. This is almost her fault, what we see in the future. So I I would like to see a different side of Evelyn, maybe a redemption, maybe, I don't know, or maybe she's worse than, I mean, I don't know. (laughs) Uh, I don't know, but I find that really interesting. I would love to see that happening for her. Same here, same here. Thank you so much for your time today, y'all. I really appreciate it.